if you're looking for a good gadget under thousand rupees so i will definitely recommend you to go and try out this latest uh, me speaker too so this is the upgraded version of their last year speaker and this is very affordable speaker and the good thing is that this is completely portable it is uh, working with the bluetooth so guys let's do a quick unboxing see how this latest uh, me speaker looks like and we are going to verify the durability of this speaker too. Hey, you might be thinking why the durability test is needed for this speaker. Yeah, practically it doesn't make sense to try out the, uh, you know, durability for the speaker. But since this is a portable speaker, so portability do bring a lot of advantage. But with that flexibility, you know, it does bring some kind of uh, risk too. If you accidentally drop it, you know, maybe putting a, taking out from your backpack, it may fall from the 5 to 6 feet height. Or if you're going to the, you know, a beach area, maybe if you're trying to listen music near to the pool, you may drop it. So we're going to uh, do some kind of a splash test too. And, uh, you know, by checking the construction of this uh, speaker, we can actually figure out, you know, how long it may survive based on the construction. You can easily tell it that. Anyway, guys, let's get start and see how that speaker look like. Better I cut it. Quick and nice and easy wow it's really tiny and inside that you get a speaker a small manual this is your speaker your manual and you get a nice stripe and uh, uh, this is doesn't look like to be very high quality my ring key is very nice you can buy this if you wanted to carry out this thing so here is the one compared to the a small paperweight a uh, little bit of weight to it uh, i don't know about the weight how much is the weight actually uh, there's nothing written here. Hopefully uh, under a hundred gram, I guess this is standard mouse You can just compare with that Compare with the smartphone size. This is how it looks like pretty tiny pretty small and uh, it, You can charge it with the, your USB and this is your power button and uh, Compact it is 5 volt 300 milliamps should give you three to four hours of battery backup so let's connect it with the phone and see uh, whether it works fine or not so i'm going to use my pixel the stock one and uh, here we have i turned on the bluetooth and uh, here i should see some stuff if i turn with the light this is the light power off so when it shows red uh, for two seconds that means it's turning off when it is blue that means it's turning on power on so you saw uh, it shows some light and how about pairing and uh, pair a new device pairing so it shows pairing and this light is uh, keep on blinking in blue color that means it is trying to pair and this is me bt181 connected so we have paired our speaker with the phone now it is time to test the quality of the speaker first i'm going to play with the speaker sound i'm going to show you with the speaker sound demo later on i will be trying to use the uh, dual speakers of the pixel let's see how does it sounds like i'm going to put to the maximum volume now yes, no, it is perfectly working screen is okay so let's start the test first with the usual 3 feet height. I'm just going to drop the phone facing the bottom side. So let's see if the phone survives or not. 3, 2, 1. So the Poco phone F1 cracked on the first drop. This is just facing this side, the back side, and I can see the glass came out. So, so far display is working, it is fine, but it just cracked. So, it's a little bit louder, you know, it's not sharp. Uh, I don't enjoy this sound, whatever coming from there. It's definitely loud, but you know, it's not very smooth, you know, the bass is not so great and uh, it just messes something. I guess for the price, uh, it's okay, at least you're getting something louder. Now, I'm going to show you the same uh, with the my pixel speaker let's see how does it, it sounds like okay so let's start the test first with the usual 3 feet high and i'm just going to drop the phone facing the bottom side so let's see if the phone survives or not three two one so the poco phone f1 cracked on the first drop this is 
just facing this side the back side and I can see the glass came out so so called display is working it is fine but it just cracked so what we conclude from here uh, you guys have uh, noticed that when I was trying to play with the phone speaker Connected. I was I was hearing some background detail, you know, background noise, uh, maybe the noise of the air condition, something at all. But here I was not uh, actually listening that thing. The bottom side, so let's see the phone survives or not. Swing two, one. So background noise is slightly less. So I guess that's a lack of clarity because this phone doesn't have any kind of such software feature which should minimize the background noise. It is the original noise that should come. All right, so that's fine. Now it is time to do the durability test for the speaker. So I have already done the scratch test on this device. Just wanted to summarize everything that I have figured out. So if you haven't uh, touched these kinds of devices, so let me show you how does it looks like. So remember the old Nokia Lumia phones, which were having the polycarbonate shell. So this should uh, exactly the same. This is the polycarbonate and uh, it has the same, not too much glossy, a little bit of matte touch. So it's not metal, you can, can be easily scratched. So by looking at the scratches, you can see, you can easily make deeper scratches mark here so if you are keep carrying this thing on the back back certainly it is going to take a lot of scratches you can see and since this is white so a lot of dust may get inside and simply it will make it look bad so wait for some other colors to come around that's what i can say top is again the same same material used here so this is not a metal grill inside i'm not showing you there this is again a me branding again it's the same plus plastic polycarbonate down here this is slightly different i guess this is again the same material but a little bit of different color this one is interesting this is actually complete rubber i was trying to remove the branding but this is completely printed inside that so you cannot remove that thing and this is actually uh, glued properly here so if you just try to remove it you may see some buttons here or this is your power button so it's good and regarding the strap this is okay it's not a very high quality i will still trust and use this thing from using an ear it's fine and this is again going to get a lot of dirt so you can see i already scratched it threads are coming out you know just keep it carefully so now it is time to do the waterproofing test for this speaker so this is already here connected with my phone and i'm just going to play music i'm going to fill this with the water so this is a splash test we're just going to do it for 30 seconds you know this is not ip rated stuff so you generally if you try to play around like that it will simply going to destroy it let's start let's move further and uh, we have this glass piece here so i'm just going to draw from this top side let's see about that i'm just going to show you the screen here so three two one so this time it is okay but yeah you got the crack here so definitely they are not using uh, vanilla glass 5 they could be using vanilla glass 3 so let's uh, drop facing the rear side let's see about that so three, two, So the big quality of this phone is really poor compared to the budget phones too. You can see we have got so many cracks here. If I just increase the brightness, you can see there's a hell lot of spider webs here in so many places. So not sure like you know what kind of cost I think they have done. And you can see the complete metal. This glass is actually what I can see the internals of this phone. So you know <laughs> that is enough actually it's spilling water over me. Anyway, so it's fun actually i'm just going to clean it and i am hoping this should still work because you know why not and uh, it is working i guess so let's try out so what is going to happen wow <laughs> okay let's try out if the charging is working or not so i'm just going to uh, power it off first power it, off okay and uh, since it needs usb charging i'm going to to plug this here let's see So this is still charging you can see the red color here so this is our speaker and this is just a casual drop we will be just checking you know if you are listening from here if you accidentally drop from here this is 2.5 feet high so 3 feet then uh, you know if you're just making fun you just drop it so those kinds of basic tests so i'm very positive this is lightweight so it should not be having any problem anyway let's start first so i'm just going to do the standard if you are just seeing and you know doing some kind of work if it fell
no problem so far it is working fine so let's drop it one more time uh, all I can do one thing I'm just removing this stripe and uh, let's roll it because you know this is the rounded one so I have seen uh, you know simply just rolls off very quickly so here we go so from this height it is okay in case we drop from here again let's drop from the speaker side so far it is very rigid i'm not seeing any kind of sound at all all right so So that's the extreme test, it came from almost 7 feet height and it fell down. So, so far it is working. So there is no problem at all. So this is your me speaker too, works great. And But you know, do not try this thing at your home, you know, based on your surface to surface. Uh, results may vary, but yeah, definitely is going to get a lot of scratches each time you're going to drop it. So anyway guys, that's your me speaker to complete unboxing durability test. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Have a great day.